Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own custom Arch Linux installation script. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So if you haven't installed Arch Linux before then I recommend you to install it manually first because you will learn a lot of things and if you have installed Arch Linux before and you are a distro hopper then I recommend you to watch this video because this script will help you to install Arch Linux a lot faster. So this is the custom Arch Linux installation script that I have created. You can find the link in the description box below to this script and you can download it for yourself and change the things according to your needs. Now I'm going to briefly explain this script so that you can modify this script and create your own script for installation. So first this script will ask us to enter our EFI partition block number. So this is the format of the block number of EFI partition and it will store our input in this EFI variable. Similarly, this is for swap partition and this is for root partition. After that, it will ask us to enter our username and it will store our username in this user variable. Similarly, this is for password and this script will ask us to choose our desktop environment. So you have to press either 1, 2, 3, 4 key and it will store our number in this desktop variable after that it will format our EFI partition as FAT32 and then create a swap partition and it will format our root partition as ext4 after that it will after that it will start installing base Arch Linux and development utilities to build packages then it will install latest Linux kernel and firmware now it will install necessary utilities like network manager, bluetooth and your CPU U-code. I have Intel CPU so I have Intel U-code but if you have an AMD CPU then you need to replace the Intel with AMD. So after necessary installations are done it will generate an FS tab file. After that it will install bootloader. By default I have set it up to install systemd boot. If we install the Arch Linux manually then we need to enter chroot mode now but since we are using a script if we enter chroot mode then the script will stop working so we are going to create a new script called next.sh and we are copying this script into slash mnt directory and after that it will enter arch chroot mode and execute this script now it will create a new user which we just specified earlier and it will do the necessary things like setting the password, enabling pseudo privileges for the user and then setting up our locale, our host name, our time zone and after that it will install display and audio drivers. By default it will install XORG drivers and Pulse Audio as audio but if you have NVIDIA card then you can also add NVIDIA and NVIDIA-utils. After that it will enable network and Bluetooth services on startup. After that we are going to install desktop environment. So if we chose one then it will install GNOME and enable GDM. Similarly if we chose two it will install KDE desktop and if we chose three it will install XFCE and if we chose something else then it will only install minimal Arch Linux and we are free to install whatever we want like window manager. Now we can put this install script into our github using git and whenever we are going to install Arch Linux we can just simply download this script from our github account during the live installation. So you can watch a tutorial on git and github on how to create a repository and push your code or files into your github account. So I have created this arch repository in my github account and I have pushed this arch.sh script in this repository. Now we are going to install arch linux using this script and also I recommend you to install it on a virtual machine first before using on a real hardware. So I have put it into arch linux live installation in my virtual machine using the EFI mode. Now if you are using it on a real hardware then first of all you need to connect to your Wi-Fi so you can use IWCTL command you can find the video in my channel so after you have connected to the internet first thing we need to do is uh, create our partitions for Arch Linux 
so to do that first we need to know our disk name so just type lsblk and as you can see my disk name is sda so i'm going to type cfdisk slash dev slash sda after that i'm going to choose gpt now we are going to create some partitions so first we are going to create an efi partition so just select new and type 300 m and select the type as efi system after that we are going to create a swap partition so select new again in free space and create a 4 gb 4 gb linux swap partition and after that we are going to use the rest of the space as root partition so just create this partition and select write and type yes and after that select quit now if we type lsplk you'll see that there are three new partitions now we are going to download the script from the github so to do that you are going to use curl command so type curl and https colon two forward slash raw dot github user content dot com forward slash your github username and then your repository name and then your branch name and then your file name and type dash o and type your file name now if you type ls as you can see i have downloaded this arch.sh script now to run this script just type sh arch.sh now it will ask you to enter your efi partition so watch the previous numbers and type your partitions accordingly so my efi partition is slash dev slash sda1 now type your in username and your password now for this video i'm going to install xfc because it is lightweight now it will start installing arch linux and this may take a while so i'm going to fast forward this part so the installation is finally completed now we are going to reboot our system so we can just type reboot Now as you can see we have put it into Arch Linux without any problems. So I'm going to use my password. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found this helpful. And if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.